cutting a wound across the English countryside. Splitting kitchens, HS2, is also going to be a tragedy for hunting, shooting and fishing. The train will disappear into a tunnel underneath the Chilterns and out into the Colne Valley. That's where we meet carp angler Tony Booker. It's been a huge issue uh, locally, um, both electorally uh, and, and, and in just about every other set for a very long period of time. So, uh, you know, yes, of, of course, I mean, the, you know, the local MPs um, are dead set against HS2, always have been. Um, and, and obviously, you know, that's largely because of the impact that it has on the community um, and, and areas like this. It's very difficult, actually, to find two people within that organisation that have got the same understanding of, of, of what the future will, will hold. Uh, and, you know, ridiculous comments have been made by some of the people that we've had meetings with where, for example, um, they've suggested that we would still continue to be able to fish this lake during construction period. Absolute nonsense. I think there's undoubtedly a transport case for improving the north-south train routes. Uh, there, are, there are delays and there's an environmental case to be made for getting more people off the road uh, and onto public transport. That said, the route they've chosen for HS2 is phenomenally unpopular, running through areas of outstanding natural beauty, running through triple SIs, running through ancient woodlands, and from the Angry Trust point of view, looks set to certainly impact, if not damage, two or three really important chalk rivers and take out some incredibly significant fisheries in the Thames Valley, which are owned and managed uh, by Angry Trust and Fish Legal member clubs. I'm not sure HS2 can be stopped, but we know for sure it's going to do damage to our rivers. Uh, we, know, we know that because the government have admitted uh, that the tunnelling required for HS2 is going to damage chalk aquifers, aquifers that feed rivers like the, the Colne and the Chess and the Mistbourne. Uh, we know it's going through areas of uh, special scientific interest, it's damaging ancient woodlands. Um, and I don't think it accords with the 25-year environment plan that the government have, have, have published. The government have made it perfectly clear they intend to leave the environment in a better state than they found it. Well, I can't see they're going to do that with HS2. The government are legally obliged through the European Water Framework Directive uh, to leave our rivers in, in, in a better ecological state. They're certainly not going to do that to this river if HS2 goes through as currently, currently programmed. You've been here for 20 years. If you were to look out over this in five years' time and see either the viaduct or the or the lake filled in completely, um, and think to yourself, you know, no child will ever fish here again. How, how would you feel about that? As I said earlier on, I mean, it, it's it's a it's a cliche word, but I would be devastated. Um, I am devastated. Just just the thought of it is is you know is 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 frightening to be honest.